At six, stolen tax forms and refunds, the W-2 forms of more than 800 San Marcos City employees now in the hands of hackers. And this is big. We have just confirmed several of those employees who tried to file their tax returns got rejected because someone else had already claimed them. Now here's how scammers got all of that personal information. A city employee responded to a spear phishing email. That's an email that appears to be from someone or a business that you know and trust. And in this case, a city employee replied to an email he or she thought was legitimate and uploaded an attachment that contained the city's 2016 W-2 information. And that included names, addresses, social security numbers, and earning information for all 803 people employed by the city of San Marcos during 2016. Why would a city employee reply to an email asking for that private and sensitive information? We asked KXAN's Lauren Landman to find out. It only took one email sent from a city employee to put hundreds at risk of identity theft. You know, a lot of people, because they were not aware that this was going on, they didn't know to tell somebody. San Marcos's director of finance, Heather Hurlbert, says the payroll department received an email specifically asking for the W-2 information for all city employees. The request came from an address that appeared to be inside City Hall. The employee, not knowing that this was actually something going outside the organization, responded and provided that information. Hurlbert says it took two and a half weeks before the city realized someone stole the information for every employee, from police to receptionists. We had a couple of isolated incidences and then we continue to have more. And so at that point in time, we looked into this. Around a dozen employees have already reported that their taxes were filed by someone else. Financial experts say if you fall victim to something like this, it could take months, up to a year, to resolve. It throws everything upside down. As an accountant, David Crumbaugh says he's worked with many of his clients who have gone through this exact situation. He says although stressful, it can be fixed. It will be okay. It's just going to take you a little bit more time. If you were depending upon that refund, it's going to be a little longer getting it. In the meantime, the city is providing all employees with credit monitoring and protection for the next three years. They also say they are working with the IT department to increase software security and secure servers. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. The city says this employee's actions breached policy, training, and protocol, but due to employee privacy, they would not say if the person will be fired or disciplined. Like some of those city employees, many victims of tax identity fraud do not know it until they file a tax return and find out someone else already claimed the money. If that happens to you, the IRS says contact them. You'll find the correct number to call on their website, irs.gov. You'll also need to fill out Form 14039, the identity theft affidavit, it's on their website, but you'll have to print it out and follow instructions to mail it in along with a copy of your proof of identity. You'll also want to file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission at identitytheft.gov. The FTC suggests filing a police report and, re and then placing a fraud alert on your credit report. Finally, know that it's not a quick process. The IRS says the typical fraud case takes six months to resolve.